Hey guys, so this video is going to be about my hairstyle. So this hair, this is it here, and um, it looks a bit different. It looks a lot different than the way it used to be. So this is my Peruvian hair that I got a while ago, and I did a, a show and tell how I curled it, and I also showed you guys how I bleached it. This is the same hair. It looks really, really different. So I'm going to put the link in the description box of all the videos about the hair, so I don't really want to get into uh, a lot of details with you know where I got the hair and everything. So I'm going to put the videos in the description box because I already said all that before so okay this is the hair here but um I braided it so this is okay this is like Peruvian body wave um hair as you guys will know from the last video so um yeah this is it but I just kind of like braided it so it has like this curly really really curly waves I braided the hair like really little small braids all around and then I left it like this for a few days and then this is how it became so and uh, this is the closure is brand new I got it from Wild Vision Hair so I got this closure uh, brand new and you guys can see how it is it's a body wave um, closure but I braided it as well and you can see the texture is a bit different for the hair itself because you know this one is a bit it's a little older than this one this one is just brand new and this is I had it for I had this hair for about seven eight months now I got it in August so since then um, so yeah, I tried something different. I'm still using this hair, but I haven't put it onto, onto my hair since January. So and it's June now. So since that time, I haven't put this hair on my head. But now I put it back in. But I just changed it and experimented with it. So um, I made a wig as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made this wig. Little clips of it in the end of the video. So I'm gonna try edit that and see how it works out because I don't know how that video is gonna turn out. So yeah, I wanna show you guys how I made it. It's like a wig, but it's not really kind of a wig. I used a stocking cap, but I didn't use like a really hard stocking cap. I used like one that is very light, that feels like tight. You know the one that feels like tight? And I used it, and then I started braiding the, um, I started sewing the hair on the, I had a mannequin, so I put it, the wig on, and then I started sewing it, sewing it, and I went like that, I went that kind of pattern when I was doing it, but then when I put the closure on, because I wanted it to be like really flat the way it is, you can see the closure. Um, I wanted it to be really flat, so I ended up putting the closure, and I used I used the shorter length, which is 16 inch, but it's probably not 16 anymore because it's and um, I used it on my hair for a long time now. So uh, I I now used that and instead of braiding, uh, instead of sewing it on this way, so it's kind of like flat. I don't have any bumps, and then the rest of the hair. I started going that way so that's how I sew this hair on my head and then I then used the cap when I was done put it on and then I sewed it all around so it's on my head and it can't come out until I take it out so like a wig and put it on take it off so I have a stocking cap inside right now and I tried something new I'm getting better at doing hair I'm trying to be able to I'm trying to do my hair myself you know it's hard to find someone to do your hair here I don't really know that much people to do it and everything but I, I I'm trying you know I try to do it myself I make my way myself now and now I started making this um, stocking cap wig and I think I did a pretty good job so if you I want to show you guys a picture of how I did the braiding pattern for this hair and I braided it really good but better than I thought I would because before I used to just do really messy braids but then I actually got better you know because you know when you keep practicing and practicing and practicing you get better so I got better in doing it I'll show you guys a picture of it okay so that's how, the, how it is so I just have it going back going back this way and then going down and then I sold everything I linked all of the braids this way so that's how I braided this um, my hair and I use expression a little bit of expression to add in it and I do and I did it so I stayed up all night like a few days ago like doing this I didn't sleep until five because I was like no I have to finish this hair before it's too late but it's very very light I, I only really have three bundles and then I have like one closure so that's like four and it's very very light and it's soft as well so it's soft uh, this is not a review I'm not doing a review on this hair I already have a video on this hair so you guys can watch that so yeah that's it and it's very soft very soft and that's the color the color is still there after a long while now I washed it and everything the color is still there I think this hair is good but I like to experiment I really don't I will get bored having the same hair so I need to experiment and try new things so I tried it but I'm not gonna have it in this texture for a long time I'm still gonna straighten I'm still gonna coil it I'm still gonna do different things uh, with the hair experiments with it I think I'm even gonna straighten it today 
want to straighten in a few minutes I'm just take this style out because I had this style for about three days now so I want to change it up a bit so this is what I want to talk to you guys just about the hair and in the end of this video I'm going to show you guys some um, pictures and I'm also, also going to show you guys a uh, little clips of how I was making this wig so I hope I edit that well and show you guys and the mannequin head do not mind the mannequin head okay <laughs> looks weird just don't mind it anyway so keep watching the video to see the rest of it and to see how I make the wig so yeah you guys oh yeah before I forget just look at the closure that's how I did the closure you guys can see I um um okay let me explain how I did it I had a cloth um a little fabric and I put it under the closure and that's why it's that color because I actually put it under the closure I didn't put makeup I didn't put um, bleach I didn't bleach it I didn't, I didn't bleach this not I usually bleach my closures but I didn't bleach this one because um I wanted to try something else and I saw on YouTube I saw one girl a girl on YouTube when she was trying to make her way she said that she used her a fabric and she put it under and then you know when you have all the holes and the, and the closures so it's like a you can see the fabric on there but it's kind of like a skin color so that's how it is and I just I have I, I didn't put the closure like up to here like push the back a bit and then I have some hair coming out at the front so that's basically how the hair is just want to talk to you guys how how I did and everything and the closure is a 12 inch 4x4 Peruvian body wave closure and it comes to the color 1B and this was the color 1B but I don't know probably like a 33 or something like that I don't know what color this is now because I bleached it months months ago so I put other videos about the original how the hair looked originally and um, yeah and this is how it looks now because I changed it up for the summer so anyway thank you guys for watching this video and watch the rest to see how I did the hair and everything and I'll see you guys in the next video bye